it's very much surprising because the poverty level here before uh -huh. was really, really bad. Whatever I come here, I see everybody is very busy doing something yeah. to, to earn his or her bread. Yeah. So you are investing in this area has actually changed the, the, the lifestyle of the yeah. so far. We identified Kenya as one part of the world where amazing plants were grown. And we identified Kenya as a place where we could really make a difference and get amazing oils. I was recently with a grower in Kenya where they were with their first harvest of their crop. And we talked to them and said, you know, how excited are you? And they said, you know, in our small land we have grown for years, we've never had a cash crop, a, a crop where we're actually paid right as it was harvested. So this, this is a Bluetooth scale okay. that's portable and goes out into the field and it links up with the field officer's mobile phone. The way the, the, the tea tree or, or the ginger or whatever it is and it registers immediately on the phone. The Lydia will hit payment, that, that transaction is recorded in the farmer's account and then those funds are transferred to the farmer's mobile phone. Within 24 hours. Within 24 hours, yeah. We're pushing for instantaneous and we'll get there pretty soon. Right. We're at 24 hours right now. What makes it so good for me when I can do a small thing that would change somebody's life. Like tomorrow I have these people, they cannot go begging, they can take their children to school. Because of one day I came and visited and spent five minutes to explain something, it makes a whole difference. This geranium was planted and now cuttings are taken from this and then made and, and put and planted and then seedlings will grow from that and the seedlings are then provided to the farmers. I mean the financial kind of inputs required to, to plant something like this all up front would right. be really challenging. So we've been really lucky to create a revolving credit fund which allows farmers to buy all of these seedlings on credit. That balance is deducted over mm -hmm. the course of a number of different harvests. So they're paying it off over time, okay. mm -hmm. which allows farmers to jump into a project like this, right. which would otherwise be very difficult to do. It. it is too difficult for the farmer right. to get to the car. So they've been uh, growing it for the last six months. This is their first harvest. They planted in uh, February this year. <laughs> <laughs> We're really focused on building systems that put farmers first, providing them all the support structure that they need to succeed uh, as a smallholder farmer of essential oil crops. We've got field officers who spend every day in the field visiting with farmers, giving them support, offering advice, helping farmers harvest their crops, weighing it on site, paying for it in a quick and timely manner, and then bringing it here to the distillery where it can be processed and distilled into essential oils. We could work with commercial farmers in developed nations and produce wonderful plants, wonderful oils from these plants, but we wouldn't be doing as much good in the world. And for us, we're always looking at how can we impact the world in a positive way. And so we have chosen primarily to work through small-scale farmers wherever we go around the world. If we grow that five times or ten times, oh, does that fulfill your dream? You will have fulfilled my dream and uh, the dream of everybody else. Yeah. I can see the small children going to schooling and acquire knowledge. It's a God-given, you know. God has actually listened to the cry and these people will be self-dependent. Yeah. That's what we are praying for.